Boop, 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 bobbing along. Hey, I'm Stuart. And I'm Emmy. We're child free after infertility and newly living on a narrow boat. We're sharing our adventure here and you're welcome to join us. Hello, you're joining us this week as we set off on a frosty February morning on our first cruise after three weeks of being broken down in Berkhamstead. This is how frozen our rope is. <laughs> I like the way it all dusts off. So here we go. We're through our first two locks. So far, so good. We're feeling cautious. Little tense, but... But it's a beautiful yeah. morning. Um, we're not planning to go too far, so this is a, a good test cruise. Hopefully the engine is okay. Lock number three, all going well so far. It's so nice to be moving again, um, feeling good. Hopefully we'll make it to cow roast and then I'll log into work. There's a bit of ice on this side of the third lock, but it looks quite thin and there's water around the boat, so hopefully it's okay. It was just a very thin stretch of very thin ice and now it's water again. behind us. Amazing how quickly you can fall back in love with boating after a good if short cruise. <laughs> I never fell out of love with it. No I didn't fall out of love with it but I was getting a little bit upset. It feels nice to have gotten out of Berkhamstead. I got a bit I got a bit hacked off with Berkhamstead a few times. I didn't really like the kids there. We were opposite a park and at night we were getting a lot of teenagers playing in the park and which was fine, but every now and again there'd be like some clunks as if stones were hitting the boats and you'd sometimes hear them and like I don't know if any of it made it in, but there was one one time when I was on the boat on my own and the boat started rocking around violently and there were some kids swinging off the side of it. And yeah, had some kids throw a stone at me on the towpaths. I think it was a really good location to be broken down in, in a way, because we were near loads of facilities, but it was also just a bit of a pain as well. Anyway, we made it here. We're at Dudswell Locks. Uh, we haven't got, we're going to do it. We decided to do it in two, because Emmy's working this morning. She's obviously working tomorrow morning as well, but we're going to do a little hop to Tring. And I'm contemplating going into work tomorrow because I've got so much to do. I'm going to regret it, but I'm going to put my arm down the weed hatch in a minute and then have a shower. Because uh, I think the that we might... I don't know, it feels like there might be something just occasionally hitting on the rudder, maybe. Um, so I'm just going to put my hand down, see if everything looks normal. And then tie it, do it back up very tight. And also, we haven't moved for like three weeks, so it could well be just just an oddity. Um, yeah, there's some new noises going on, but it seemed to be all right. Seemed to be okay. Who knows? Who knows? Boats weird, aren't they? Minds of their own. Yeah, it all looks all right in there. Um, it's cold. <laughs> the I turned the prop a few times and that's making a slight 
clunky noise, but I think it's okay. Um, for all I know, it's always making a slight clunky noise. Uh, it's more of those little guys, little shrimpy guys. Weird. Well, here I am again, wheeling my trolley down the canal. This time I'm wheeling it to cow roast. I'm going to go. Our hose is in desperate need of a clean, so I figured I'd go and run some water through it and then give it a, a, a proper clean with some um, sterilisation tablets. But I thought I'd pick up some water as well, so yeah, I'll give it a flush through at the actual services and cow roast uh, and then give it a soak. I kind of wanted to replace it but that just seems quite wasteful for something that's fundamentally pretty good. But it sat for like four weeks. Normally it sits for, you know, only a couple. That is our first real nice sunset of 2023, I think. Or that we've been able to see anyway. <sighs> Stunning. I, we're only staying here for one night. In a way, these spots that we only stay in briefly, I think they're my favourite. Because you never stay in them for long enough to get annoyed with them. Although, to be fair, I never really got annoyed with that spot that we had in Tring. I thought that was lovely. Um, I, and also, I think, because it's one of those ones, because you do, like, a couple of hours cruise, and then you just stop and I think that's probably how I really like cruising I, I liked it in the summer when we would do like a couple of hours cruise in the evening after like the high, a lot of the higher boats had sort of disappeared go on duck go on um, after a bunch of the higher boats had disappeared and you'd get like um, it'd be just a bit Quiet, obviously, um, and it was just such a nice way to to cruise, and then just to stop somewhere just for a night and just appreciate the beauty of that spot before you push on. I find it very centering. Boat life when it's like this. rather cold <laughs> somebody asked me while I was mon monologuing <laughs> are you cold? yes I am actually yeah. still pretty though another morning cruise pre-work cruise grey this morning but it's still nice to be outdoors and and moving and have a fixed engine <laughs> hoping to get to train and uh, do the services at cow roast and then we're in a good spot to commute tomorrow <laughs> There were incidents while we were in Berkhamstead of someone opening all the paddles on a lock and draining and flooding pounds. This might be to do with that or something similar.
Do you remember what it was like to have a full water tank? Me neither. Hose time. Right, warning. I'm gonna show you the Elson point. It's actually not too bad. Except that it's blocked. It's about half an hour to see the water. Toilets, Elson Point was out, but fortunately they let us do them in the marina for a fiver, which I think was pretty decent, really, because um, they could have just said no, they're for moorings only and sent us away. I don't really have a problem with people charging for it, and that probably doesn't cost them that much to empty, but it doesn't matter. It, you know, it's still a cost to them. So, yeah, um, yeah, I'm just going to do the last little hop on my own. Uh, Emmy's cracking on with work. So beautifully peaceful here. I love this spot. Felt really nice as well because as soon as we stopped here, Emmy was working so she missed it sadly, but as soon as we stopped here, there was a deer just on the other side of the bank. It just felt it just felt sort of perfect. Doing some setup work on a new guitar. It's a little bit cramped, but you know. Nice views. Emmy's still in meetings for about 40 minutes. Um, I finished my work. I was just doing some setup work, some guitar stuff. Um, so pretty much I have a working guitar now, so it doesn't need too much, too much work. And... Uh, kind of done um, so I was just gonna sort of have a little tidy up and that uh, and I just thought the light looked really nice the sun's going down now it's got long long gone behind the uh, the cut there but um, it's just such a lovely spot it is like I, I say like it's lovely and peaceful there is like a road just there with lots of road noise <laughs> but it is still a really nice spot. It's it's surprisingly, and that's just someone's garden there. But it's just so peaceful. Or oh, it feels so comparatively peaceful to be an opposite park and a set and a uh, car park, <laughs> a busy town centre car park and a busy town centre park. But on the plus side, we had about a thirty-second walk to the shop. Now we've got a 20 minute walk to the shop down probably one of the most, one of the more unpleasant um, country roads. <laughs> it does have a path, which is something, but it's mostly a cycle path. Um, but I don't care. Good morning. It's Sunday. It's been quite a busy week, so this feels like a moment to breathe. Because um, the boat got fixed, I think it was Tuesday, so we did some short moves in the morning before work, Wednesday and Thursday. And then we were in London Friday and Saturday. And now it's Sunday and we've we've got up, we had crumpets for breakfast watched a couple of YouTube videos and now I'm just going to spend a good couple of hours doing some drawing and working on a commission at the moment. Um, sounds like Stu's on the roof. I don't know what he's doing. Something with wood maybe? Um, but we're planning to, we're in Tring, uh, which we absolutely loved last time we were here. So we're looking forward to walking into Tring a little bit later as it gets towards evening and going to um, Feriwala, an Indian restaurant we went to last time that we really, really liked. So we're looking forward to that. Um, yeah, so it should be a nice relaxed Sunday. Hello! <laughs> 
る。<笑>